Tell me what happened. Well, it started out as some bottles and rocks being thrown. Police had to break it up. Next night, everything had quieted down, and Wallace was walking home when he was gunned down in cold blood. What uh, brings you to the Times? Wallace was the son of our housekeeper, Mary Pell Sampson. I knew Mary Pell lost his son, but I didn't know until recently that he'd been murdered. When? 19 years ago. So it's a cold case story. Rich Blue Blood's obsessed with the forgotten killing of her housekeeper's son. No, 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 not forgotten. Never even investigated. Wow. I thank you for getting who's in charge here, boy. I'm kind of sorry I got to take you with me. Hey, this is my story. You think I'm happy about working with you and your racist caveman attitude? Now, you listen to me very carefully. My job is to learn things people don't know about and put it in the paper. I don't worry about if it's for rich people, poor people, black, white, men or women, or people you can't tell the difference. I'm the kind of southern boy who don't care about the color of murder victims. You're stirring up things that don't need to be stirred up. Oh, boy. We got a cop with a big hat. It's a zero-sum game. No one gets out alive. Now, the boy was probably killed by his own kind, and, well, he probably deserved it. Matt, they're going to kill him. Uh, is everybody in this town armed? Justice. And righteousness. Y'all never lost anyone you loved. Oh.